Anne is from uh, California State University, has read my book. She's a professor of philosophy and religion and uh, very much deeply involved in the Dharma traditions, very sincere and loyal to it. So let's hear her comment. I'm very happy to be here and I enjoyed reading um, Being Different. <coughs> I enjoyed it because uh, having been in a philosophy department for the last 30 years, Philosophy in most departments in the United States starts in Athens and ends in London. And when you try to talk to other philosophers and say, you know, there's a whole world out there that has examined questions, examined questions of self, of reality, they look at that as though they're looking through a pipe. It's as though they have a pipe and they're looking up at the sky and they're saying those other things don't exist. And they, they hold on to that pipe, this very narrow view of what philosophy consists of. And in uh, Rajiv's book, he's trying to tell people, put that pipe down and look at the whole of the sky. That there is wisdom everywhere that can be brought into oneself, that can be understood, and that can be shared. And I feel that this book is a major contribution to the intellectual life of everyone. Not just if you've been lucky enough to be born in this culture, to be born in a Dharmic culture, but it is a book that everyone can enjoy and learn from and be able to put down their narrow pipe of assumptions of prejudice and really draw on the full sky of wisdom. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Anne. Thank you.